I have some very good news about Todd. He left town? Forgive me, Terry, but that is truly the way I feel. You're telling me that the old Todd has re-emerged? And this is good? You were miserable with him. Only sometimes. And I, there are so many good parts of him. And it's as if they've all been shaken out and put back in a different order. But if he really is integrated, aren't the bad parts still there? Isn't he still dangerous? No. Because now Todd will be the one in control. If I weren't convinced, I would never agree to marry him, Carlotta. But I saw it with my own eyes. He fought Pete, the one who's caused all the damage in his life. And, and there's also Tom, who's kind and gentle. He's like a little boy. And there's Rod, who's... Oh, what can I say? He's really sexy. <laughs> This Rod person, he's the one that's going to give you all the love that you need now? You confided in me once that your marriage to Todd was never really consummated. Do you really think that he's ready to be a husband? I know he is. Rod wanted... Uh, he wanted a lot. And Rod is becoming a large part of Todd. But do you have to make the decision to marry him so quickly? I want to marry him very much. Oh, I, I know people don't approve, but I love him. Hey, uh, I've known you since you were a toddler. And I saw everything that you went through growing up that makes you who you are today. Taya, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I just don't want you to get married for all the wrong reasons. It's not about money, oh. okay? We're way money. past it's... that. You know, I have to go. I told Todd that I would meet him at Dr. Boyd's office. Oh, I don't think so. It looks like I you're meeting him here. Okay, buddy, this is Dr. Boyd. Dr. Boyd's got something to say. Go ahead, Dr. Boyd. First, let me say that integration is a complex process. Each altar is an aspect. A person okay, okay, you're boring the hell out of everybody. Go ahead, tell them in plain English or, or plain Spanish if you have to, whatever. In my professional opinion, the integration has begun. See? And look at that, look at that from this point. So. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, what, look at him. You really think he could tell you a joke? Okay, so you said that you would marry me if I was uh, integrated. So what he said, does that count? Is that enough? Will you? Was that an actual proposal? Yeah, will you marry me? Look, just so you know, it's, it's Todd asking. Don't say no now. You're gonna, you're gonna send me back to the beginning of this whole integration thing. Isn't that right, Doc? It's true, a narcissistic hey. injury could... Why, well, that's... I, I was joking. Also. It's a joke. Progressive. Right now. Pattern. Will you? Taya, you married him last time without thinking. You married him blind. At least take the time to think about it. Don't make the same mistake again. I won't. Because my eyes are open. And my heart. All the time, my heart is yours. Right, that means you're going to marry me. Yes, Todd, I'll, right. I'll marry you. All right, everybody, uh, stay at Delgado, and, and she's going to marry me, and, and you're all invited. Oh, wait, but maybe we should set a date first. Uh, fine, tomorrow. No, Todd, tomorrow, that's, that's, that's too soon. Fine, Friday. Oh, no, 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 uh, Friday, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, perfect. <sighs> as I could. You ran out of the diner like your hair was on fire. You are Todd, right? Who else would I be? 
Look, I'm in charge of the altars now, not the other way around. That's why you said you'd marry me on, on Friday. Right. You're not changing your mind, are you? No, no. Good. Get in here! Oh, Todd, Todd, just calm down. You're, you're... Yes, sir. You're, uh, not fast enough. I want all of these delivered. Don't miss one. They're all very important. Wait a second. Uh, Todd, these don't even have street addresses on. Okay, Mike knows how to use a phone book, don't you, Mike? Go on now. Yeah. Okay. Well, you said you wanted a big wedding. I know. I, I do. I don't know. What if something goes wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, Todd, you know, I, I, I don't mean to hurt your feelings or anything, but, uh, you know, these people, they sort of, um... Spit it out. Uh, well, they, they don't like you. They don't like me? They hate my guts. Your guts, they don't seem to mind so much. You have good-looking guts. <laughs> you sound like, like Rod without the accent. <laughs> Maybe I am Rod. Well, the shrink says that all those people are just a part of me. Right. But Miss Perkins, I kind of have a problem with that. <laughs> anyway, all of us, we think that you should have the wedding that you deserve. Is that why you're inviting these people? To make me happy? There was a time when you wanted nothing but to settle scores. Yeah. Well, I'm a different person now. New and improved. Now I want to make sure that I'm presentable. Why? I mean, since when do you care what other people think? It's a good question. I, I don't know. I think it has something to do with wanting uh, to be a, a father and a, and a husband and I don't know it's important to me that that star is accepted and that you're accepted and so I have to make myself more acceptable you're awfully quiet I was just remembering our first wedding <laughs> city hall I didn't even know you. There were no friends, no family. You wouldn't even kiss me when the judge said you could. Yeah, but that was okay. I got five million dollars to not take it personally. But how could I not? I felt, uh, I felt very lonely and sad. So you're having second thoughts? No. Because I know how different this wedding will be. Thanks to you. I love you, Todd. I do. I love you. What are you doing? <laughs> Suddenly you have way too much lipstick on. I miss Perkins. <laughs> so why are you leaving? Oh, silly. I'm just going to the powder room to freshen up my lipstick.